Hello again, everyone. I am Edumacated, and welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Last time, we did some trades with some monkeys and got a yogurt-producing machine. Unfortunately, this machine only seems to be able to produce trout-flavored yogurt. As uh, we saw here, it can also be used to uh, spray enemies down with, uh, with yogurt. Not that we're ever going to probably get a chance to use it, because we've got to talk to her. I kept asking around for trout flavored yogurt, but... What? You have a yogurt dispenser? May I have it? Before you could answer, she took the yogurt dispenser. Hey! Now I can make trout flavored yogurt for my guests. You are so kind. I'll make some for you. <coughs> Excuse me. My room's on the 48th floor. Don't forget to drop by. My room's on the 48th floor. Don't forget to drop by. Yes, you said that. So, with that... We must now lay siege to the Monotoli building. And it's creepy music. <laughs> Last night there was a solitaire tournament. I lost my shirt. I'll invite you next time. Hey, wait, do you even know what solitaire is? Yeah, I play it all the time on my computer. I'm an elite businessman who works in Mr. Monotoli's office. It's good to know. Good to know. Hello, babyface. What brings you to the Monotoli building? Vengeance and rescue. Not necessarily in that order. This elevator is only for Master Pokey. Pokey. I figured he was behind this. It goes directly to the 47th floor. Quit staring at my hips. Why don't you stand somewhere else instead of behind me? But I'm standing beside you. Whatever. It's not my fault you're insecure about your hips. They're a little wide, though. I guess we're here. Okay. Are you a friend of Master Pokey? It's okay to visit him here, but don't wander around the building. Someone might be suspicious of you and take a pot shot at you with a machine gun. You mean like you, sir? Hmm? Whoops. I was almost going to beat you up. Really? I've got bottle rockets, buddy. You don't want to mess with this. Actually, do I have many bottle rockets? How many bottle rockets do I have? I have one bottle rocket. All right, let's finish up here, and then we're going to have to cut back, because... <gasps> you. What the heck are you wearing, Pokey? It looks ridiculous. Is that pinstripe? Trying to make yourself look slimmer or something? Ooh, da da. You shouldn't be satisfied with eating just some more pizza. You're so out of it. I've ordered trout-flavored yogurt. It's very popular among gourmets. Aren't you jealous that I get such a get to eat such a tongue-tickling treat? <laughs> Alliteration for you. How you like that? Ha ha ha! Trout-flavored yogurt. Ooh, I can't wait. I'm starting to drool all over myself just thinking about it. Ugh. So this is what happened to him. Get away from me, kid. <laughs> you won't get away from me, kid. Nice. So, Pokey's the reason for the trout-flavored yogurt. Who's in here? Oh, it's Mr. Minch. You haven't changed much, Ness. My voice might have changed, but that's just because I don't remember how I was supposed to sound last time. I'm Aloysius Minch, Pokey's dad. Due to my son's success, I now live the life of a rich man. Every dog has its day. That's the perfect proverb for me. HA! <laughs> oh, my jaw is tired. Okay, then. That kind of hurt, by the way. Thank you, Mr. Minch, for making me have to do that. <clears throat> oh, now I hiccup. That's awesome. In any event, I want to be prepared for uh, what lies ahead, so, uh... uh... My goodness, I'm full of bodily functions today. I'll see you back here in a bit. And we're back. I just had to pick up a couple more, uh... A healing item and, uh... And a couple more bottle rockets. Shh! Quiet! Aren't you Ness? Mr. Monotoli's maid Electra told me about you. I'll take you to Mr. Monotoli's office on the 48th floor. Only you may go. Well, you and, and Jeff. 
Thank you so much for considering me. At least you don't have uh, hip insecurity. 48th floor. A robot bodyguard is patrolling the floor. Be careful. Really? It's not like Ed 209 or nothing like that, is it? <coughs> there he is. Secret code, please. Say your code in 10 seconds. Um, swordfish? No, um, um, rosebud? Uh, wild rose? The sentry robot blocked the way. Please put down your weapon. You have six seconds to comply. Uh-oh. Tick-tock. Uh, I don't like that. Ow. Okay, that's not terrible damage. Sentry robots can be a little rough to deal with, but... Well, if they keep saying tick-tock and, and such, then that's one thing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're good with the laser beam. Thank you very much for showing that off. Ooh, left a present. What do I get? What do I get? Big, another big bottle rocket. Ooh, cool. I kind of like that. Who are you talking to? Nobody. I want to heal Jeff. All right. Nobody in here? Nope, nobody in here. Good. Oh. Well, that was wonderful. Secret code, please. Say your code in 10 seconds. Um, GLaDOS. Um, uh, Peter Piper pick a pick of pickle peppers. Get, will you? Mm -mm. So we gotta, yeah, there's, there's no way to actually, like, get the, get the password spoken to this thing. Even if you wait three minutes. Because you won't wait three minutes, it'll, <laughs> it counts down for ten seconds, so. In fact, it doesn't even count down for ten seconds because it speeds up as it hits three. It's like those uh, flaming finger games that uh, they, they have in the arcades. The closer you get to the end, the faster the time goes, and eventually you're not going to make it. Hey, Jeff's level 35. Offense up by two, IQ up by one. That's important. HP up by three. What is Jeff's IQ right now? 34. I think that's good enough for something. I'm not sure. Mm. No. Hmm. Sounds like people are having some problems in there. All right, I think we can avoid Ed 209 here, maybe. Would like to get back up in there, though, but I can't. So we'll just, we'll come back to it. Except when I can't. Okay, go, go, go! Ha-ha! What's, what's in here? Secret code, please. Say your code in 10 seconds. I'm not even gonna bother because you're not gonna figure anything out. <laughs> Would you kindly just shut down and go away? That How's that for a password? Ow, you shot a bottle rocket at me. You don't shoot bottle rockets, I shoot bottle rockets. Stop shooting bottle rockets! I said those are my job, that's my job. Stealing my job? Hmm. Robots nowadays, man. They think they can just go wherever they want to and... Do your job for you. Yeah, let's heal up a little bit. Okay, that should... Ooh, hello. There's a sudden guts pill inside. Woo, that's pretty nice. Can't, uh... Can't do anything with it right now, though. Secret code, please. Say your code in ten seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm attacking now. There you are. Are you still there? Eh, okay, good. No more, no help, please. So you don't need, you don't need any help. You got plenty of help right there in your carapace or whatever, in your chassis. <sighs> now this is, uh, this is a slightly tedious section of, uh, of the game here, and it's gonna get even worse. All right, Jeff's HP is maxed out. Nice. So one of these doors leads to another fork. Oh, hello, Electra. Your trout flavored yogurt, sir. Ness got the trout yogurt. Master Pokey's cool. He gave me something the other day and said this is fit for a maid. <laughs> that wasn't meant to be nice, Electra. Pokey's a jerk. Uh-oh. Ping! That last clank sounded a little threatening to me. And this is your boss, the clumsy robot. This guy is a... This guy is a problem. Uh, I'm gonna see if maybe some stuff will work here. Lost a gear and some bolts. It... Wow, well, really? <sighs> and... Yeah, that's... Whew. 
Whew. All right. <laughs> Sorry that that uh, I had to I had to kind of uh, concentrate. Ooh, okay, that's good. Uh, the clumsy robot is probably one of the most problematic bosses in in Earthbound, really. I think. Um, as you saw, he can fire a missile, which makes him dizzy, but that doesn't matter because it can kill both of you in, in a single blast. Fortunately, he can also waste a lot of time. And he can eat a bologna sandwich, which doesn't make sense at all because he's a robot. Why would that work? Whatever. <laughs> I wanted to go get a battery. I, I wish you'd go get a battery. Okay, he's staying kind of... Of course, his dodge chance is, like, through the roof. Can you just... Just, 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 just stand still and die like an adult. Ugh. Just, just, just go to, go down, please. I don't, I don't want you to have another turn because... Uh, I'm glad he's wasting so much time because it means he's not attacking. What? All of a sudden, some guys rushed into the room. <gasps> it was the Runaway Five! Lucky quickly ducked behind the robot. I flipped the switch and it stopped. <laughs> Jeez, what a loser robot. It was so easy to stop. Yeah, you try fighting this thing, Lucky. That was quick thinking. Clumsy robot stopped moving. Ness and Jeff gained 16,189 XP each. The Runaway 5 gained 30,000. <laughs> Ness's level is now 39! Offense up by 2, defense up by 1, guts up by 1, vitality by 1, IQ 1. This is going to be a pretty decent level up. HP 11. Oh, I still only gained 1 PP. Ooh, life up theta. Which I think that's a... That's... Like max life, right? That's a that's automatic max out. We would like to pay you back. We'll help you in any, whatever way we can. <coughs> I'd say you've done quite a bit for me right there. We don't have any money. We are strong, however. Yeah, and you have instruments which can be used as blunt uh, blunt objects of destruction. Let's break into the room next door. Except I need to go to the bathroom first. That's okay. We'll wait. <laughs> I thought that I heard a girl's voice. Uh oh, really, Paula? The next, the room next door seems suspicious somehow. No kidding, especially those big double doors. All right, Jeff, let's do it. All right, Monatoli. Stop! That's enough. Please stop. I give up. I really do. I'll heal you even. Oh, poor guy. He's just shaking. He's just standing there shaking. But there's Paula. You okay, Paula? Ness, you finally made it here. I'm fine. I believed you'd come and save me. Mr. Monatoli isn't really a bad person. Take some time to listen to him. Okay. Paula believes in you. I'll believe in you then. Look at my skinny arms, thin body, and gray hair. I've become so weak since I lost the Mani Mani statue. I'm sorry I kidnapped Paula. I haven't done anything to her. Paula is a nice girl. Paula, return to Ness. I'm sorry I created so much trouble for you. Okay. Yay! We got our Blitzer back. Paula rejoins you. Do, do. I'll tell you everything. The Mani Mani statue creates an illusion. It attracts evil spirits and weakens your heart. The power scared me so much I hid the statue in the warehouse at Jackie's Cafe. Yes, I know, and it became Moonside. I often went there to pray. Cryptic words appeared to me while I was in the illusion. <laughs> what, like variations on how to say welcome to Moonside? Ness, your name appeared in the cryptic messages. Stop Ness and do so by your own hand. Or don't let them go to Summers or make sure they know nothing of the pyramid. I don't fully understand the messages, but someone obviously doesn't want you to go to Summers. Evil Gigas or something. I could hear the name. Anyway, the evil side would be in trouble if you visit Summers. 
Oh, on the contrary, you should definitely go to Summers. Especially because they don't want you to make it there. Would you like to hear the story again? No, that was quite a bit. Summers is located across the ocean. Take my helicopter. I'll open the door to my heliport. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. More interesting. You must go on. Ness, this is your destiny. Paula, it's time we said goodbye. Take care. So, Mr. Monotoli doesn't seem to be such a bad guy after all. That's nice. All right, a helicopter. What? What? Why, what what's, what's going on? Why is it why is it taking off? Who's who's piloting that thing? Who is this? What's your operating number? <laughs> Swoop at me. <gasps> Des, you pinheaded idiot. You're just a half step too slow. I'm getting out of here. Since Vanatoli has become a plate old man again, I have no more use for him. This helicopter will really come in handy. Looks like you're the world-class loser again. <laughs> I hope you crash, Pokey. In the middle of a swamp somewhere. Stupid Pokey. Pokey took the helicopter. I hope he's okay. Uh, whatever. Hmm? What? You alright, Paula? Paula? Earth to Paula. Come in, Paula. Are you there? Ooh, I was a little dizzy, but now I'm okay. To get to Summers, we need to get back to Threed. Yep, somehow I know that's where we must go. Okay, Paula. <laughs> wow, you guys did a lot while I was in the bathroom. <laughs> you want to get to Threed as soon as possible? We can take you to Threed in our bus. I'll get the bus and wait for you just outside the building. All right, we get to we get to ride again with the Runaway Five. It's so cool. Uh, before we get down there, let's do a little bit of exploring. Well, let's see, we've already seen Electra. And gotten that rancid yogurt. Was there something? Ah. There, ooh, a vital capsule. Nice. And <laughs> Paula needs it badly right now. So let's do that real quick. Use Paula. All right, welcome to the land of double digits, Paula. And there was a sudden guts pill here somewhere, wasn't there? Oh yeah, I think it was out, back out here. Uh, any of the music that's associated with the Runaway Five is just some of my favorite stuff. I don't think there's anything out here, was there? Nope, just the hallway. You guys still in there? Yep. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there, but uh, good luck in all your endeavors. Hello, how are you? This is Apple Kid. I think I'm a real genius. In fact, I know I'm a genius. Why? Well, I've discovered the primary enemy of you and all of humanity. We have to fight and defeat this being. To do so, we need to invent a machine called a phase disorder. I've got to find the wandering scientist, Dr. And Donuts, and make the disorder. So I may be gone for a while. Later, click. All right. That's Apple Kid checking in. Are you a friend of the Runaway Five? Would an autograph be asking for too much? I doubt it. I don't mean your autograph, silly. I wasn't talking about me. <laughs> I'm an official spokesperson for the Runaway Five, didn't you know? 47th floor. So are we still... Yep, we still got the kicking music going here. When I'm off duty for my bodyguard job, I still have a lot of pent-up energy. But don't worry, I won't come after you. Unless you're kind of itching for a fight. <laughs> a lot has happened to me. I have to try and sort it all out. Thinking is tough for me. Hmm, I bet it is. You stereotypically muscle types, you know. High strength, high constitution. Intelligence? Pff, forget about it. <laughs> Intelligence and wisdom? <laughs> those don't exist. So, yeah, it looks like both ninjas have bailed out on this place. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna head on out of here. Oh, you again. This elevator's going down. Look, don't stand behind me and stare at my hips. I'm not standing behind you! I'm just looking you right in the face, even! Look at me! Look at my eyes! Where are my eyes at? My eyes are up there. Yeah. Crazy people. So... There he is. Okay, we can get on the bus now. And we shall, going right straight through the uh, the grill of the of the bus. <laughs> All right, on to three.
You can't see it, but I'm bobbing my head along to the beat. I like that sign back there that says desert, by the way. Like, it's not obvious what this place is. <laughs> this is a desert. Thank you. I, I couldn't have been able to figure that out. I thought it was a beach. You know, with all the cactus and... Or the cacti and all the rocks and scorpions and snakes. And, you know, typical beach-dwelling things. There's a guy with girl troubles. All right, we made it. I'm sorry we couldn't do more for you. Remember, though, we're on your side. When you're having a tough time, just think of our songs and imagine the Runaway Five singing somewhere far, far away. And not in the and not in the theater of a crooked owner. By the way, why did you need to come back here? Must have forgotten some very important item or gadget here. How's that for a guess? Am I close? Well, you don't have to tell me. See you later and good luck. Thanks a lot, guys. You're the best. And that's the last we're probably going to see of the Runaway Five for quite a while, which is unfortunate because, as I've said, they're. They're some of my favorite. They're, they're some of my favorite uh, characters in this in this whole game. Runaway Five is just great. I, I, maybe it's just because I have an affinity for the Blues Brothers. So we're back in three now. There's a reason for it, not just because you know Paula's Paula's uh, mojo said so. If we go up here, remember when we checked the Skyrunner. It said, it looks like we couldn't fix, we, it can't be fixed for now. I'll bet if we come back here and go back through the creepy, creepy neon hallway. Hey, looking pretty good there. <laughs> we painted over all the damaged parts of the Skyrunner. Now I wonder how you start this thing up. Well, if you paint over things, it doesn't really fix it, but whatever. I want you to stay, but if you can't, so long. Thanks for every little old thing. <laughs> Thanks for every little old thing, like saving the entire town from a zombie apocalypse. Jeff, what you got to say about this? Ah, here's the problem, and it's not too tough to fix. Hang on for a second or two. <laughs> there. That should do it. Now if we board, the Skyrunner will take us back to Winners. With Dr. Andonuts' help, I can modify the machine to fly to Summers. If Dad, I mean Dr. And Donuts, is not available, I'll have to figure it out by myself. Anyway, let's go back to the lab in Winters. That's it. Go, machine, go! And you don't have to press the button this time, it just does it by itself. And lift off! There we go, that's better. So, probably with this, this is going to mark the end of the video. Um, made some considerable progress. I mean, heck, we got Paula back. And uh, we finally, we've done just about all that we need to do in Foreside. There's one more thing we'll have to come back for, I believe. Uh, but beyond that, that's about it for that. And now we're going to be traveling to places we can't really get to by a bus. Yeah, there was a gift box there. I what was in it. But now that we've got teleportation, we can, we'll actually have a lot easier time being able to move from place to place to place. I like the music for the Skyrunner. Sounds nice and sounds cool and futuristic and something you'd hear out of Disney or something, I don't know. And we're back in winters. Nice perfect landing. See now, Jeff, why couldn't you have done this uh, when you first ended up in three? I'm sorry, I got excited. Thanks for taking care of my husband the other day. Husband? Really? Oh yes, we finally tied the knot. <laughs> Honey, don't just stand there with your mouth open. Say hello. So, you passed by a cave north of Stonehenge. Don't you ever wonder what's inside? You can't seem to stop thinking about it. Go and see what's there. We're going to get out of here. We're still really what you know. Bye-bye. <laughs> mm. Bye. 
Oh, hello, Dr. Antonitz. Oh, you surprised me. You're Ness, aren't you? Jeff wets his bed sometimes, but other than that, he's a good boy. Yes, that's why he, he gets the, uh, the, the, the farthest separate bed from us. <laughs> Take care of yourself and Jeff. The bubble monkey said there's a cave north of Stonehenge. I've known about it for a long time. The locals call the area Rainy Circle, but I haven't been there. I wonder what's inside the cave. I, uh, <laughs> I understand. We're checking out that place. I'll work on remodeling the Skyrunner. Oh, yes, yes, my co-worker Bigfoot dislikes violence. He's such a nice guy, and he loves people. He often shares his beef jerky with me. Oh, well, that's nice. Booga booga, may I help you? Waka ungawa, what would you like? Wow, he's got a bunch of stuff here. Look at this. Bottle of, bottle of deluxe water. <laughs> $200 for this? Jeez. Who the heck would want to drink that? All right, I think beef jerky is actually... <laughs> Wunga din? Beef jerky. Spungawa gunga ug. Who's gonna carry it? Um, probably Paula. Oh, she's got a, she's, yeah, she's got a silver bracelet. Unga gun waka woo. Thank you very much. Would you like anything else? Uh, no. <laughs> so now we know how to say thank you very much in caveman. Instant revitalizing. I messed that up. Oh well. So, yeah, uh, remember that shining spot that uh, Jeff passed by as we went through the cave to get here, like way, way back? Well, it's time to revisit that place as well. Ness, don't say a word, I know exactly what you're thinking. I almost succumbed to homesickness again. <laughs> so I think, yeah, with this, we're going to... But yeah, we're, we'll, we'll take care of that in the next episode, I think. It's, uh, we, we've had enough action for today. So, as I save my game here, uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Remember, I have been educated, and now so have you. See you guys next time.